Hi folks, welcome back to Black Beards Detail on your YouTube channel. On this vlog, we don't have a Merc CLK 200. We've got an absolutely fantastic looking Audi R8 in. It's in for a new car ceramic package. A couple of extras added on as well, one of which is the undercarriage wash and seal. So we're going to crack on to that. The weather outside is horrendous, as you can imagine, given the fact it's mid-November and it's in Scotland. So yeah, the... We'll try and capture some of the footage of the work we're doing outside. Try and fashion something maybe over the top of the camera because I'm aware we're missing a lot of the kind of good action outside. So we'll have a real look at doing that. Uh, in the meantime, Josh is going round this. He's just applying a top coat onto this CLK. Alloy wheels, as soon as they're back, they're getting coated on it. The car will get moved onto there and the R8 will be taken in. Lucas, in the meantime, is setting up everything outside. So, yeah, I'm going to fashion a wee contraption, put it over the top of the camera and we'll get it outside and capture some footage. So, here we go, I've managed to fashion a little uh, zip lock bag over the top of the camera and just leave the lens a bit exposed. And uh, the rain's actually given us a break for a wee minute. So, yeah, as you can see, absolutely gorgeous Audi R8. It's brand new, under a thousand miles on it. It's in with us, as I say, is for our ceramic package. This is the third, no sorry, this is the fourth car that this particular customer's uh, given me. Uh, all for ceramic packages. First one was, uh, uh, sorry, first one was a Focus RS. Second one, uh, a GTR. Third one, TT, and now this Audi R8. So, yeah, it's always good to get returning custom. So, what we're going to do is we're going to crack on with the decontamination in this, get the full undercarriage all done, uh, jack up one side of it so we can get well into the arches, make sure they're all flushed out properly with the, uh, the steam cleaner and uh, yeah, we'll get it put into the unit. I'm hoping that uh, the wheel refurbishment place drop off those wheels relatively soon. But yeah, this thing is absolutely glorious. Went down south to pick it up uh, from the Audi dealership down there. So I'll be curious to see what their kind of prep works like versus the Audi dealerships up here. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, crack on with some outside footage. Well folks, that's the car in on the unit. I, we've basically done all the decontamination work and we've got it lifted in the ramp, which was a bit of a nightmare, but there was three of us, so we just about managed it. Uh, the overall condition of it for a, a, a new car is kind of typical of a new car. There's a couple of wee marks and there's stuff like that that needs sorted. But just to point out, the customer did tell the dealership not to prep this car. 
Uh, so it would be unfair for me to point out stuff and obviously criticise any kind of dealerships. But the overall condition of it is pretty well. It was a, a, a showroom car. It basically sat in there. So as expected, there's a lot of kind of wee marks, especially in the kind of the, these sections where people have been leaning over to have a wee look in the engine bay and have obviously marked the, the, the paint as they've been doing that, either that or it's been from uh, the garage and stuff like that. The, uh, whilst they've been doing kind of checks, oil changes and stuff like that on the car. Uh, the other side is, uh, is worse than that side as there's kind of some kind of really kind of noticeable uh, marks along there which looks as if somebody's tried to kind of scrub them out and has then caused more damage. You kind of in the detailing world they call them love marks because you think you're doing good but you're actually doing a bit of damage. Uh, so we'll be able to show you them on the camera. Uh, there's a, a good few of them uh, all down that side but those will be tackled uh, whilst we are doing our work. So yeah, it's, uh, it's in, it's up. We're going to let the, the wheel arches fully dry out. They're all uh, kind of cloth material. They've been hit with the, the blow dryer, but we want them thoroughly dried out because we're going to lano guard uh, the, the, the underside of the car. The underside of it's beautifully nice and flat. So, so it was an absolute like a dream to, to actually clean because with that high pressure steam as you've seen it basically just like totally cleaned up bottom area really really well and done it really really quickly which was always a bonus so I'm going to do a paintwork condition report on it uh, the guys are going to crack out they're going to get the wheels done and uh, yeah that I think we'll call it a day and I shall see you tomorrow thank you So we're now on to the second day working on the Audi R8. The customer's just away, he popped up with a friend to come have a look at the car to see the progress and brought a lovely big coffee from Tim Hortons, who also got the order wrong. Good old Tim Hortons. <laughs> but yeah, customer, very happy with progress so far. Archery's all deep cleaned, calipers have been coated, alloy wheels have been coated. Obviously wheels are still to get put on. Uh, just doing the interior glass now. I'll do the glass sealant, I'm gonna leave that to cure and then we'll break for uh, lunch and then after that I'm going to crack on with the correction phase so the rest of the day will be correction uh, tomorrow which will be Sunday we'll just carry on with the, uh, the correction and on to Monday which we'll do the coatings and we're going to uh, do the, the full undercarriage good progress made so far uh, I've got Josh who's been working uh, the weekend as well and for a bit over time so aye, it's, uh, it's, all, it's all going to plan. I'm coffeeed up and uh, yeah, ready to get cracked on, get the, the inside windows cleaned, get the window sealant on and then uh, start the good fun that is the correction phase. Well folks, that's this Audi R8 completely finished. Yesterday was just a full day of correction work. And uh, this morning, a couple of hours of correction and then the coatings. I've uh, not done much talking in this vlog. Uh, this morning I bit into a baking roll 
uh, crispy bacon and crispy roll and split my back molar in half and can't get an emergency medical appointment. Uh, so yeah, it hurts to talk, it hurts to breathe, it hurts to drink and eat and etc etc. So yeah, I pretty much uh, took a load of painkillers and uh, I've not been doing much talking. So it came up really well, sent a, a wee kind of sneak peek about the customer so he's looking forward to seeing it tomorrow. Been picked up tomorrow morning, so uh, yeah, I absolutely enjoyed, love working on this. It's uh, it's always a good sign when you're getting so much repeat custom from somebody who's bringing a lot of kind of high end stuff to you. So it's a good indication sign that you're doing something right, and this uh, is uh, an absolute pleasure to work on. He's since been contacted by the Audi dealership who uh, who bought who bought the car from, want to buy it back for. I'm quite considerably more than what he bought it for, so it's obviously a kind of in-demand vehicle right now. Uh, it's just the way things are going now with, with kind of uh, second-hand cars. Well, not even it's second-hand, it's only done 700 miles, it's, it's brand spanking new. So, yeah, it's uh, it's just an indication of the way the, the crazy thing right now with the car market. But you might have noticed in the, the background some of the things, I've got a lot of bikes in there now. I've got five bikes in, excluding my own bike, which is over there. Uh, they're all in for corrections and coating so that's going to be basically the full rest of this week enjoy the beauty shots of this thing thank you very much for watching please hit the subscribe button and hit the wee bell and you'll get a notification whenever I launch a new video uh, yeah but drop a wee comment let me know what you think of the car and uh, stay safe I'll see you soon thank you